Like it's a lot of turbo for your money. Like it's just incredible the price of this thing right here and what you get. It's just insane. So let's talk about some features on this turbo. Now this turbo is the performance version of this particular turbo, the GT35, available in two different options. You have the standard one and you have the performance one. And this is the performance one. It features this golden wheel in here, all right? So it's a billet aluminum compressor wheel. It also has, I'm not sure if it's only the performance model or if both have the logo branded into the housing. Uh, but anyway, it's got that. The other thing that makes this uh, performance version, a performance version, is the exhaust housing and the uh, turbine blade in there. So we have a special exhaust housing made up of molybdenum silica, I can't even pronounce it, I'll put it up on the screen. And we also have the compressor wheel, or the uh, turbine wheel here, which is made out of K419 alloy, I think it was. The compressor housing is good for up to 800 degrees centigrade, 850 degrees Celsius, uh, temperature wise and the turbine wheel a thousand degrees celsius i think i can even show you a turbo that did not manage a thousand degrees let's see if i can find it is it this one no ah here it is all right so this turbo right here does not have the silica mobile uh, turbine housing i don't know if you can see in there Do you guys see that it is completely melted in there. And you can also see right here where the housing is completely gone. And also in there where it's all melted and gooed up. Yeah, so that's what can happen to a stock exhaust housing if, if, if things go south. Anyway, I think that this turbo is gonna be quite the upgrade from our 13C that was on the, uh, the turbo originally. So yeah, that's a little bit about the turbo. Like I said, we'll, we'll be putting this one to the test, okay? So there will definitely be more videos featuring this on this engine right here, which we'll be talking about right now. All right, guys, so here is the table of parts for the uh, rebuild of the engine for the Volvo 945. Just got the engine and head back from machining. So these are all, all the machine work is done. So basically what's left is putting this engine back together. Now, unfortunately, I am a little bit short on time because as you know, the Volvo 945 is my daily, but I'll bring you guys along with the camera as I'm putting everything together. And uh, I'll talk a little bit about what I'm doing and whatnot. But this is, the th this is all the stuff that's gonna go on the engine anyway. We have the gaskets, uh, we have uh, new connecting rods, new pistons, um, new camshaft, uh, specially made actually for this project. Spark plugs, bearings, uh, water pumps, pulleys, belts, belt covers, valves for the engine, brand new. We're gonna go through some flexi gauge, measure out everything so we know it's good. We got Loctite, we got assembly lube, we got, we got everything, okay? You know, obviously when I sell the car, I'm not gonna sell it with this engine. I'll take this engine out. I'll chuck some old, you know, kilometer engine on. All right, you guys, that's all I have for you today. If you want to follow this build, uh, this engine build and the Volvo 945, because I've done stuff to the, the car as well, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys later in the next video when we will be putting all of this back together, hopefully. Uh, I'm not an engine builder, so this, this will probably be a bit of a learning curve, but I think I'll be fine. Uh, anyway, how do you get? Hey. <laughs>